What's up, everyone? This is uh, AJ here. I'm, I'm joined by by Bugs and, and Starwin. Uh, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? What's up? Annyeong. We just recorded uh, a Let's Go Around episode, and we're just going to bust out a quick little tier list that we've been talking about doing for a very long time that we never got around to doing, and we're going to do it now. So, <laughs> um, basically, this started as a tier list of, like, who's our who we think is most fun to go against. But I think now that we've gotten a lot of experience in the game, I think we can accumulate a nice little casual tier list on who we think the best killers in the game are. Mm -hmm. I thought a really fun way of doing this is having Starwin and Bugs decide where certain people go, and then I'll argue them, and we can have a nice little debate on said killers and, and where we think they lie. Right? Is is that fair? Does that does that sound fair? Yeah. I was gonna say we could change like the little side the side things to like, yeah, this killer's fun. Fuck this killer. I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> you need to so, go. <laughs> so we can give our thoughts on the killer, obviously, while we're placing them in the tier list. Because just because they're top tier doesn't mean we don't like them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we could do a little bit of both. Uh, explain why we think they're top tier, why we hate them, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Uh, I guess we could just go down the list because the first killer in the game is the Trapper. Uh, I'm curious as to think is what tier do you guys think the Trapper is in? I think he's D. Okay, so Starwin's gonna off the bat give this man a D. I think so. well, why do you think Trapper is a D? He takes way too long to actually be relevant. He's like a, a super late game uh, killer. So I feel like if you can beat him in enough chases or figure out where the traps are and then just knock out the Jennies, it doesn't really matter. Like he, I feel like he's the type of killer who needs something like Noed or like Ruin or even like Corrupt to really like fuck you over. But then even then, mm -hmm. if he's not laying down traps, who even cares? He's just going to chase you down like a regular-ass killer. What's the point of playing him and not someone else? So many other yeah. killers do what he does better. Okay. Okay. Bugs, what do you think? Yeah, more or less, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Like, you know, it's a mid-game, late game. It's just really annoying when you, when you step into that goddamn trap. <laughs> 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 I think uh, when, when he gets you in basement, that's it. I think it's huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's super cheap. And then he just places the traps all around the fucking killer shack. <laughs> Protect the shack. That's all he got. <laughs> He's really fast, too. He does have very good uh, movement speed. He needs it. I but think... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, that's another thing. So, like, the, the traps aren't even, like, an automatic down. Because if you step on a trap and he's on the opposite side of the map, you can just get free and walk away. Like, it doesn't, like... Getting stuck in a trap isn't even an automatic down, and that's a big problem with him. Because if he's in a chase, and then you step on a trap, and then you just free yourself, oh, there goes that trap, and now you know it's there. Oh, well. Yeah, that is true, too. Or if he turns around to go get the person on the trap, he already lost his chase. Yeah. Then this person's all going to heal. And if mm -hmm. this person does get off the trap, boom, now you lost two chases. Yep. And problem. Then you, and then you know what kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> which if you're playing against bugs you'll never get the chance to let it kick it i'll never let you get a fucking no it in <laughs> oh you play with hexes fuck your hexes <laughs> uh a basic trapper build is definitely like brutal strength no ed uh corrupt and uh what was the four like ruin or some shit or pop maybe pop i think that's like basic trapper build and it's it's a shame that he he needs to set up and and the sucky thing is if you're facing a, a four man, uh, they're just consistently feeding information. He's setting a trap on this wall, uh, setting trap on TL, setting trap on main, uh, trap on my left, trap on my right. Top off so, three gens as he's setting up. Yeah, he's he's definitely suffers the. I think Trapper's a good beginner carry, uh, killer because people don't know how to play the game. <laughs> yeah, but even, I agree. even in the the little compendium books, I, he's literally the first person you work with. Yeah, so I, I agree. Trapper is definitely the worst killer in the game. I think he needs a redesign. I definitely think they should redesign. So, so we're all in favor of D for Trapper. Mm -hmm. All right, 
Racy boy. Yes, but the race. I think he's an Racy A. boy. You think Wraith is an A? Yeah. Wow. Why? He's so fucking fast. And I feel like a lot of the times, if you're not actively looking for him, he can just sneak up on you and, and fuck up your whole your whole shit. Mm-hmm. And that's like the biggest problem of him just like appearing somewhere and then you not really having the time to formulate a plan to be like, oh, I'm gonna go to the 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 pallet or I'm gonna vault this wall. Because not, nah, he's probably just standing there. He's he's Man. waiting Man. for you to come to this pallet so that he can fuck you up. Man, he's just I, watching you from from just like, hey, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm your yeah. guardian angel. And then once he appears, it's a too, it's too late. <laughs> it's too yeah, late. and he's so fast, so fast, so annoying, man. Do you agree with him, then, Bugs? Especially, when, especially, agree. especially when he has the soundproof bell too. My God, <laughs> I hate when you can hear it no matter where you are on the map because then you literally, you again, you have no idea where he is. Oh, here's the bell just going up, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> And all Wraiths, they constantly ring the bell. All the whole match, all you're doing is hearing it. Yeah, because what they do is that when they're chasing you, they go invisible. And yeah. then they, they get the speed boost. Mm-hmm. I have to disagree. I think this kill is definitely like in the right hands B tier, if not C tier. Nah, he's he's like mid level because we still have like S and double S. So I, I feel like he's saying if like we didn't have S, I put him in. I mean, if we didn't have double S, I put him in B. Why do we have? I do, think, we, do we really need the double S? We can just keep it S. No, I can I can name you two double S characters. <laughs> three. I can name you three <laughs> double S characters. That. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that the wraith has to do too much to be considered viable. And even then, against a solid four man, he sucks. Like, the whole W meta beats Wraith. 100%. And, 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 like, to be able to be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cloak, ding, ding. I'm uncloak, sorry. Hit this person. Cloak. Chase. Uncloak. Hit. That's if you get the hit. Wraith, you need to uncloak, hit. Cloak, go to the next person, uncloak, hit, cloak, go to the next person, kick Jen, uncloak, hit. If you can if you can win that chase, down them. If you can't win that chase, you have to leave. Immediately. So Wraith requires a lot of awareness of like, am I gonna win this? The second they touch a pallet, I turn around. <laughs> the second I see them camping a pallet, I'm like, alright, I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even, depending on the pallet. But like I, most of the time I'm just like, I'm not even gonna try this. I'm gonna go hit the person on the gen right now. At least you'll be wasting time healing. And if I'm running Thanat, at least if you don't heal, at least you get some, some gen penalty. Uh, but like, you can't really run Ruin on him because there's always going to be someone on, on a gen. You can't, it, it's not easy for him to, to pressure gen. He's not a gen pressure killer. And I think that's where he suffers. But I think two A's and a B is going to keep him in the low A. So, average out. I'd, I'd give him a B. Oh, okay, so he's okay, getting knocked yeah. down. He's yeah. getting knocked down a B. Yeah. He's he's high B. Uh, Huntress. Oh, well, good. No, I was gonna say because there are other killers that are a lot better. Okay, so the Huntress. She's a B. I don't think she's as good either. She suffers from the same thing that Trapper does, though. Like even if you're hitting someone. You're not necessarily getting the down. Like it's cool to be able to throw the hatches, but you have to be like super close to actually capitalize on it. Probably it's it's so up. unfortunate. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then she runs out of hatches, so it's yeah. not even like she could just instantly throw them. To have to go back, find hatches, go pick up this person, assuming that their teammates ain't pick them up or heal them. It's it's too much work. It's way too much work. So you I need to consistently. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say. So I was in a game against a uh, huntress one time. And she knocked down the other two people. And me and the Leon are just looking at each other like, yo, are we seriously going to save these people? So as they hook one person, I start to, we both run opposite ways. All of a sudden, I just catch a hatch just straight to the mountain. <laughs> down. <laughs> I'm like, yo. She turns to the Leon, hatchet, pat, caught him. I'm like, yo. 
my god. Yeah, if if you're facing a, a huntress that can hit consistently, literally, she she predict she she was predicting where we were going, like. But it's e- it is easy to like dodge the hatchets. Is she a barbecue? No, 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 no. She hooked them like not too close from us, but like we can see where she hooked them. So we mm-hmm. spread, we dipped, like we went our separate ways. But I guess because I saw her, but I didn't see the windup. I couldn't. I think the windup was like quick enough. So she just threw the hatchet, and I ran into the hatchet. <laughs> and then the Leon, she turns to the Leon, did the same shit. Caught the Leon. Yeah. DVD quick scope. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember that one game that she was just yeeting hatchets across the map. From in that football field. Yeah. Map, yeah. yeah she almost hit the Fucking hatchets map. are coming from across the fucking map. Uh yeah, if you if you face a really good huntress, you're gonna have a bad time. Like if, if she's really good with her hatchets, it's pretty much GG's. Um especially if she's running the one that knocks you down in one hit. Mm. It's, it's, she's just gonna Get a hatchet, beep. Get a hatchet, <laughs> beep. <laughs> you know, so it, it's it can be it can be daunting. It, it can be rather daunting. Uh, but I don't. I think, like you said, she she doesn't pressure gens. So like, if if you she's chasing someone who knows how to loop a, a, a huntress and knows how to dodge hatchets and knows the game and the meta game and and all that, it's she's gonna have a hard time. Gens are gonna pop. They're gonna fly. She also is another killer that needs corrupt. So, God, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with the with the placement, Mister Bubbles. 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 Mister Bubbles is an A tier. I agree. I agree. Fuck this killer. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking annoying, bro. Him and Billy. Matter of fact, can you just put Billy up in A for right now? Billy. Cause... Billy's not an A, bro. I, I can tell you, Billy's a high B. They're like basically the same shit, bro. Uh, that I, chainsaw one shot thing is so fucking annoying. I, I hate it. They hold it for way too long. No killer should be able to just hold a hit like that. No other killer does that. It's it's so fucking annoying. They just automatically knock you down. It's bullshit. Bullshit. What, what were you gonna say, Buck? No, no, but I can't be as mad at a that I can't be as mad to a Billy. Than to a bubble because it is hilarious just watching a Billy just go up and down <laughs> the map, just <laughs> looking so stupid. <laughs> I feel like Billy requires a little more skill, and I feel like Billy is easier to dodge than Bubba. I feel like Bubba gets faster the more he's like, <laughs> oh, stupid tantrum. Yeah, and like God, Billy, that, I feel like that thing just goes on forever, bro. No matter where you go, my it does, bro. Yeah, it stop does, with yeah. the fireworks, my guy. <laughs> Yo, what are you speed pop pop pop? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, fucking Bubba just be <laughs> fucking uh, the he, whole. He time. gets it, and he gets it so quick too. Like he'll just he'll finish yeah. it, goes back to it. He's like, and it's like, bro, you, where's your cooldown? And you know what gets me tight is that if you drop a pallet on him, he just breaks the pallet and keeps moving. Yep, does the same thing. There's no like, he, bra- he There's no stun. It's like, bro, I outplayed you. I dropped this pallet. <laughs> Why do you like? I feel like the Demogorgon has more lag time when he uses his shred on a pallet than Bubba with the chainsaw. I, I 100% think he's better than Billy. I, I think Billy's decent. I don't think Billy's amazing. Billy with Tinker is scary. I will admit that. Facts. <laughs> Facts. All them zoomies. Billy with Tinker is scary as fuck. But, yeah, I, I think... I think 100% Bubba's way, way better. Huntress with Tinker, I'm thinking about that now. That sounds interesting. We just can't fucking... Quick scope from the. Do you don't even know she's coming? She's just <laughs> <laughs> in your fucking face. Uh, the, the we haven't faced the doctor in how long? It's been a Thank while. Uh, I played the doctor like two uh, a game ago. Yeah, I feel I like Sarvan and I haven't run into him. I fucking hate this guy, man. I I, I seriously hate him. So. <laughs> He's another one with his fucking constant shocks. 
I think the doctor is like C tier. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know what you guys think. I I'm think assuming... he's more annoying than Huntress and Wraith just because he can shut down loops. Mm-hmm. And that madness shit is so annoying. Like, I don't understand why that even needs to be a thing. I, it's, it's so unfair. It's really so unfair because he'll find out your location. It, it's like he has five mm-hmm. perks. That's that's the biggest issue to me because even if he's not running something like like barbecue, he can just spam his fucking his uh That's where you hide in bet boom yeah his oh, other ability and then everyone screams. Oh, you trying to use this palette? Nah. Yeah, like bet he does the same thing that the clown does. But I feel like with the clown it's not as bad because you don't, vault. Yeah, and then you don't gain madness. You don't have to sit there and fucking like do these ticks and then the other the visions of the doctor pop up and you have to worry about that too because those could be fitting him information. It's like he has so much information on you at all times. He stops you from doing everything. You you no matter what perk you have, if he hits you with that shockwave, that's it, you're done. Just take the hit. It, it's and I, I feel like there's a way to beat him. I don't know how to do it. I, I really don't. We we never seem to really do that well against the doctor. And a lot of other people say that he's shit, but bro, he's fucking annoying at our level. So fucking annoying. I hate him. What a passion. <laughs> I, 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 they, oh, God. <laughs> they always say that he slows down when he charges up his shock. And they don't I don't feel like I, that. And you can feel it sometimes, but I feel like on certain loops, it, it's not prevalent. Like, I feel like if you're not running Shaq, or you're not running a, a good jungle gym, like he's pretty much gonna always hit you and stop you from doing anything. Or you His hitbox is massive too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was gonna say like uh they're, they're, like I feel like they should put something in the game that you can possibly get not like get rid of it entirely, but like get rid of the madness. Like you know how with Nemesis with his little T virus, it'll be cured, but it l- limit it. Because like you're yeah. o- you're always you're always gonna be mad. You're always gonna be caught in that madness, and it's ridiculous. Actually, it's good that you bring that up because Plague has the fountain that you use. Yeah, Pig has the machine to take off the thing, Trap. and even Freddy has the alarm clocks. Doctor is the only one who inflicts something on you like this, and there's no way to do it besides the fucking skill checks. They're just standing somewhere. So annoying. Yeah, you have to, you have and, to and, and and you don't even get rid of it entirely. You still, no. you're, you're still stuck with madness. You still suck, yeah. You just level one madness again. Nah. I think we're all in the consensus that Doctor's annoying as fuck. And not fun. I feel like I never have fun. No. I don't think I've ever played a fun Doctor game. <laughs> yes. Let's be honest. Yes. Let, let's, let's be honest, guys. Freddy's boring as fuck. He's so boring. But you have to Freddy worry was... about too much. Yo, but his lunge, let's start with his lunge. <laughs> Cause this man, you be seeing him cock his hand from wild deep. He's, been, <laughs> he, he, he's doing like the Yaz beats, like really, really back. And then all of a sudden he just fucking lunges so far ahead. And his hitbox is crazy. I don't know what they do with his hitbox. It's wild. Um, don't forget, Blood Warden is a Freddy perk. That's one. <laughs> that, that's two. Sorry. <laughs> my God. How, how many times have we gotten caught with that Blood Warden? <laughs> <laughs> Three. This man can make fake pallets. That's oh, just not fair. That's another thing with the doctor, too. Fucking. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. The doctor can make fake pallets as well. That's right. Four. Freddy, when you're asleep, puts these bubbles out. That slows you down, basically like the doctor. He basically has the thing that shuts down. You can't drop pallets. Uh, you slow down in speed. Uh, you can't vault a window if you step on it. And you can't um, hear his terror radius also. Yeah. So you also can't see him when you're awake. Until a certain distance uh, between you and him. He can teleport to gens. That's the worst um, part. So 
if he could just teleport to Jens, it's not as bad as being able to fake teleport to Jens. That's the, where he becomes really good. Where in the sense of Freddy can run Tinkerer, literally pretend to go to your gen. You'll see the blood coming out the gen. You're like, okay, he has Tinkerer. And then come up behind you with Tinker and hit you. <laughs> he can cancel his teleport. At the end of the animation, he can cancel it. A and it's wild. It's fucking wild. He can also has add-ons that... Because we we haven't even touched really upon add-ons with some of these killers. Because, like, uh, Bubba has an add-on that makes you broken when he hits you with the chainsaw. Like, that, that's busted. <laughs> it's busted as fuck. Uh, Trapper has, like, one really good add-on that uh every 30 seconds a random trap that's not open opens up or he has that one where if you disarm a trap you get injured like he has some really good add-ons but freddy's add-ons i feel like are the best in the sense like it makes it faster for him to teleport makes it faster uh, uh makes uh, survivors more oblivious to things like when you hit a survivors they become oblivious in their sleep mode like there's just so much like you said to worry about with freddy and like barbecue and trilly tinkerer Ruin and like undying. He's, blood warden he'll, and or blood warden. He'll just wash you. He oh, also yes. has uh, spies from the shadows, which again gives him so much information. Like if he knows that you're walking towards a Jenny, motherfucker can just teleport to it and then fuck you up. Well, why? The, why spies, are you able to do that? Spies from the shadow is a basic perk for killers. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. First of all, if you run Inspired from the Shadows, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Just run Barbecue and Chili or Whispers. Like, <laughs> you'll be fine. Uh, Spies from the Shadows doesn't necessarily really indicate, help you indicate where the person is. The crows sometimes are delayed, and the notification warning will be delayed for the killer. So it's, mm. it's not good at all. But um, like I said, Tinker and Barbecue and Chili, and you lose the game. GG's. Freddy wins. Mm. Um, and if he's running Papa Ruin, like, like I said, GG's. I've seen Devour Hope plays too. He's he's a monster. Literally. I've seen <laughs> I've seen a lot of Ruin, Blood Warden, No Eggs. Yeah, obviously, because the Blood Warden, uh, they'll run that shit. <laughs> I've played Freddy with yellow perks and and have demolished survivors at high rank. Because my Freddy's not even that leveled up, and I played some matches. Let me, let me play some Freddy. And I've literally washed with my lunge alone. I've <laughs> washed survivors. It's ridiculous. Because also, with Ruin, you can fake teleport to a, a gen, and everybody will get off the gen. Mm -hmm. And boom, Ruin value. Because by the time they come back, you can just show up behind them. So it's not even that big of a deal. Or you just scared them off. Shit is fucking crazy. Uh, Piggy? I think Piggy's down here, honestly. I got C traps. You say C, I say high D. Where are we going, Bugs? I really haven't played her, so I would play, but playing against her, it's it's meh. So I give it the C. Okay. I give it the C. But it's like, it's hilarious. Just like her and Ghostface. It's hilarious when you just see them creeping around the corner, just staring at you. She sucks. I don't think I've ever gotten <laughs> hit by the that lunch. No, I've never I, gotten hit by it. I I have a hard time hitting people with it. I I can only hit it at pallets. Like I'll I'll stand at the pallet so they can't drop it, and then I'll like pretend I'm going one way, and then I'll go the other way. The uh, sound cue does not work in her favor at all. No, so a lot of the times they'll hear the and then they'll just leave the pallet. Yeah. <laughs> they just hold W. <laughs> like defeats everything that she's trying to do. Uh, and she doesn't have an add on that turns that off, I don't believe. So, she, uh, she's not good. Not good at all. And the fact that you need a gen to go off so that the trap can activate makes it even worse for her because she has no late game pressure. Because mm -mm. if she tries to apply traps at the, at the end game, that's it. There's no. Because <laughs> you can there escape no with them. Yeah. It's not active at all, so... so you, can, yeah, you, you can escape with the traps on your head or not? If they're not active, you can escape with the traps on your head. I've always left with them on my face. 
no matter what's going on. I just I just walk out. <laughs> if they're active and you try to leave, it'll just it'll kill you instantly. But I, I just don't think she's good at all. She needs a rework. One hundred percent needs a rework. I think they need to figure out how to make her traps better. <clears throat> or if she had different traps. Maybe that would be better. She should be able to put traps on Jenny's. She she does what the executioner does. She kidnaps you, puts you in a in a thing. <laughs> I actually like that the traps on the Jenny thing. That's actually like a like a like because for survivors could do it now with blast mine. Yep. She should be able to put something in the gen that when you touch it, uh, and something happens. Uh, the blight somewhat has something like that with dragon's grip. Yeah, and oppression. Mm-hmm. Eruption as well, kind of, is, is one of those things where if you touch a gen and somebody gets down, you get blown up. That's if you're working on it, though. Yeah. So if I'm thinking, like, so they added that implement now where eruption basically ties your hands together. You can't work on the gen for a good, what, like, five, six seconds, is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, if she had something where, like, if you touch a gen after she did something to it, maybe for, like, ten seconds you can't touch a gen. <clears throat> Therefore, she gets, like, mm-hmm. moon value or some shit. It could. Oh, I was gonna say. Um, what if she did like something like you say? Have you seen the Saw movies? Yeah. So remember, I be, I don't remember which one it was, but there was a trap where you had to like fill up a container of blood by um putting your hand in through the hole and having to saw it like with the saw blades. So she could put like a little thing like that that um affects you over like that. Shit. Slows your progression on Gen. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was thinking something along the lines of like uh your hands get tied and you have to like do a skill check to mm. remove it and if not like you can get like injured or something. Mm, that's pretty busted. <laughs> 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 because if you're bad at skill checks, who RIP? <laughs> Why are you doing gens then if you're bad at skill checks? True. Don't R-I-P. touch this gen. <laughs> I, I I'm all for things that'll make Piggy better because she's so much fun. It's so cool. Also, implement other traps, you know, like the like that one trap that the iron the iron one that it made oh, your one that closes the, the, the fully closes the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like they, they, I'm sure behavior can come up with something interesting. Hopefully, they they rework her and and help her out. Uh, Mister Clown, fat boy, fat boy, with the belly. Yeah, he 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 ate here. I think he ate here. Now at least with this new uh, re- re- rework, small rework they gave him. What do you guys think? What did wait? What was the rework though? Oh, they gave him the yellow thing that makes him faster. Mm, I, not, I, well, I haven't played a clown in so long. Yeah, we unfortunately face a lot of clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Starwin hates clowns. <laughs> He's really fast. And his, his hitbox is a little busted looking. I, I feel like I don't know how to... I think I just don't know how to loop a clown. Like, whenever they're consistently hitting me with bottles, I feel like I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. And then I'm so slow. And he can make you slower. And it's not fun. All right, I stepped away for a second. Uh, yeah, fuck the clown. He's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hate this fucking guy. There's uh, no reason why he should be as fast as he is. There's absolutely no reason. He like so the bottles. I feel like aren't they're they're super busted, right? Because it's not like with the huntress where like you have to actually hit somebody with it. If it breaks next to you and you get hit by the gas, you're asked out. So, like, he has, like, an AoE. Why does he have an AoE? Dude, there should be no AoEs in fucking DBD. This, this is, no. AoE DBD Swift. <laughs> Bruh, it's, it's disgusting. And then, like... Plus, there's, there's been... having the Tom Brady on a fucking meeting. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> fucking <Even> crazy. The, the, the smoke is like <laughs> oh man. he can make himself faster that's the crazy yeah part. He can fast and he can make himself faster and then make you slower so he's faster and you're slower 
fucking the worst, clown. The worst thing is trying to like save someone off a hook and then he hits you with the bottle. And then now there's no chance for anyone to get away because he's going to hit you while you're saving this person. And that person is oh, super slow. The bottle cancels your animation. Oh. Yeah. If he hits you directly with the bottle, it, it cancels your animation. Yeah. I didn't even know that. That's even worse. Yeah. Look at that. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> I hate that man. <laughs> Fucking I, clown bastard. I feel with, with clown, they should add like a little chest that you could, it could like get a little gas mask. Just, just for a little... that, that'd be interesting. It's a one-time use. Mm-hmm. I've been offended though; would be super annoying. And it, and it, and it, no, it'll be like how Nemesis has the little T virus things. It, it it depletes for as long however long you have it on. You get three masks mm-hmm. per game. So one Damn, person, one has survivor's to... fucked. <laughs> yeah, one person has to has to learn how to loop. <laughs> drop so you put it. you drop you the put map. your best looper. <laughs> You'd be like, yo, you're the best looper in the team. Take off no mask best. for you. No. <laughs> yeah. I put hag in S. Oh my god. Because I think we can all agree that the hag is an S tier killer. What the fucking cunt? I think she might be a little bit better than Freddy. What the cunt? She's trapper on roids. Oh my god. 100%. She could put like 20 out. <laughs> the constant heart attacks, though. Oh my god. Yeah, the constant. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I can't count how many times I'm sitting there and I accidentally run over a trap, blah, and, I'm, and I just jump, bro. Cause I'd be having the the sound blasting, blah, blah, like my like, <laughs> god, leave me alone. I remember she had a whole trail of them. It was like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, that's what I was about to say. You know when you're running down like a hall and it would just be like, blah, 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 blah. It's like going through a haunted house, bro. <laughs> and you don't know which one she's gonna turn into. You have yeah. no idea. <laughs> that was me when I walked by the the hex totem today. I was like, "Oh, there's the hex totem." I went out to it. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> he was good in that room. My God. And when she when she uh goes into the the, the when she teleports, basically, um, she's already facing where you are, so she could mm-hmm. just mash the hit button. Uh. She can just mash M1 and there you go. She'll get the free hit no matter what. Because it tracks you. It's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> yeah, she can shut down loops. She can shut down windows. She can shut down pallets. Uh, she can trap totems. She can trap gens. In certain maps, it's hard to even see if there's a fucking trap. Um, you can crouch walk the traps, but if you don't have urban evasion, good luck. Especially um, have backwater swamp oh God. Yeah, you don't see anything on that ground. Like people be like, "Oh, run urban urban evasion, bring a flashlight." Like, how you know you're gonna face the hag? <laughs> like, right. how am I supposed to know that? It's like whenever people be like the doctor, you could just run calm spirit. How am I supposed to know that I'm facing a doctor, you fucking idiot? <laughs> like, I don't know. That I'm going gonna, gonna to be like, yeah, this is the doctor. Let me just run fucking calm spirit. Like, I don't know. That is information that's not given to me. <laughs> and she, she's really, really good. I don't think there's much to be said about how good. The animation for laying traps isn't long either. It's not like the trapper. So... And you can make it faster. Mm-hmm. She's been like... <laughs> 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 And it's crazy because if it's just the three of us, this fourth person is just running around like blah, 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 while we're trying to unhook someone. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, El Speedy Tool. 100% is the second best killer. Uh, third best killer in the game. I think she's the third best killer in the game. She's Mind Game City, though. That's the biggest problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all 50-50s with her. She has way too much potential to do anything. Yeah, like, we were playing in uh, Dead Dog Saloon the other day, and she stood in front of the... She was, like, in the middle of the street, and we were doing the noose, Jenny, and she just appeared behind us. I'm, like, looking at her, standing in the middle of the street. I'm like, oh, who knows where she's going? Oh, guess what? She's behind you. You're dead. Yeah, I feel like every time I play a Spirit, I'm on a Jenny, and all of a sudden... Uh, grabbed instantly. I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't even get a chance to like move or anything. So I'm I'm a spirit main, um, which means I don't like to have fun. The mind game city. 
I like the mind games. I think it's fun. Uh, but whenever I play Survivors, I get a lot of hate. It's like, oh, you play Spirit. Like, what's wrong with you? You must be sick. Yeah, it's not as bad as Nurse. <laughs> um, okay. I, I think that Spirit is very mind gameable, but again, it's a 50 50. If you don't play like fighting games and stuff, like, you're going to have a hard time with this killer. Uh, people think it she's not mind gameable. People think there's no trick to it, but there's a lot of tricks to it. And then there was a time where Starwin was being chased by her, and I told him literally everything to do, and he did it, and he won the chase. Yep. Multiple times. You've done it like three times now. Like, I know this killer. I know how to play this killer. I know what to do with this killer. A lot of the times when she's camping in the palette, if you got a flashlight, just, just poke it in her face. She'll get annoyed because she'll be like, fuck, like, there goes her mind game, you know? And she lost her face for a few seconds. So she needs to loop the palette or leave. So, you know, she can't always phase. If she wastes her entire phase, it's going to be a hot minute, like a good minute before she can, she can phase again. I don't know if it's true or not, but they were saying that if you flash her and you don't get the blind, that means she's uh, she's phasing. She's phasing. Yeah. So a lot of the times, like I said, I would I told Starwin like he dropped the pallet and she stopped at the pallet. Um, and I'm assuming Starwin in his mind was like, okay, she's she's phasing. I told him just put the flashlight in her face, and like he put the flashlight in her face, and it blinded her, and that's how you knew that he she was there. Um, it's very situational, yeah. But if you don't know that she's there or not, just leave the pallet and you'll see if she's there. Pretend you're leaving the pallet at least. <clears throat> Sometimes it's good to just wait, wait it out. Um, when she, you can see that she's chasing you down uh, a map and she's phasing, you know she's phasing, a lot of times just run back. <laughs> just fill your scratch marks with more scratch marks. A lot of the times they'll just think that you're, you stopped and hid and so they'll look around for you where your scratch marks stop. But stupid i ran back behind my scratch marks um so she's very my gameable but she's very solid 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 fucking killer i don't think she has flaws really besides being mind game and i don't even think that's a flaw i just think that's just game design uh the legion eric maxer is a pretty tragic too it's crazy uh miss yamaoka yeah uh what do we think about the legion I think she's somewhere around Huntress and Pig level. They, they are somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. Just four people. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in there. Uh, I'm going to go here. What about you, Bugs? What do you think? Uh, yeah, that's good. I don't think the Legion's as good as people think they are. I don't even think people think they're good. I feel like maybe in the in the low ranks, like they're just super just annoying. Like, That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, if they're running Thanatophobia, like you're gonna have a little bit of an annoying time. Like Thanat and Ruin is definitely gonna fuck you up a little bit. Uh, but besides that, you know, you you can loop a Legion pretty well because they're they're pretty much an M1 killer. They can't down you in their speed thing. So apparently, Legion was busted when they first dropped. Legion, when they inflict the the bleeding on you, apparently if they hit you again, your bleeding meter went down lower. Mm -hmm. So they could keep stabbing you over and over again. That, that used to happen when we originally started playing DBD. Was it? I don't yeah, think that, so. we used to run into a lot of legions, and I remember that would happen. I, I used to hate playing against Legion because of that, and then after a while, I just figured out how to just hold w and get away from them <laughs> yeah you, you just keep running legion really can't do much they're not that fast either they're no pretty slow on their normal speed uh I, I think they're getting a rework they confirmed that they were reworking legion so we'll see what they do to make the killer better yeah because they made it now that if you hit the same person with if you hit the person and they already have the that bleeding status on it just cancels out your, yeah you cancels out your animation yeah yeah you can't do anything <clears throat> So we'll see what happens. Uh, log A? Miss um, maybe in front of Clown. Is vomit all over the fucking place? Plague. An A tier? Mm, put it behind Clown. Okay, I agree. I think Clown is a little more annoying than Plague. I feel like I can deal with Plague. <laughs> uh, Plague? What do you guys have to say? I don't, I don't really know what to say. 
She just annoying with her fucking long distance vomit attack. But it's it, it could be avoided easily. Just it's just a just W. Yeah. <laughs> that well that and just hide behind a tree. <laughs> Even if you hold W, if she's just walking behind you, laying it on thick, you, you're mm-hmm. going down eventually. And th- I think that's what I hate about the plague is that she can literally just follow you casually, not like actively be chasing you, like trying to close down loops and stuff. She's just vomiting on you, just constant vomit, and you'll it'll happen. And then she'll hit like hit a gen. Oh shit! Now you're sick again. She'll vomit on the the hooked survivor. Now you're sick, and then she's just gonna keep vomiting on you. It's it's and then the. The distance that she covers is crazy. Very easy to get infected. Also. The issue with Plague is that Plague needs to commit to the 1v1. Like, if you just go around vomiting on everyone <clears throat> and expecting to get everyone sick and, and spitting on Jenny, you're not really going to get much done. Uh, Plague needs to heavily commit on the 1v1 and she needs to Vomit on one survivor, get them to broken. And once she gets them to broken, broken, she becomes an M1 killer because she can't keep vomiting on them. So she has to hit them. So a lot of the time, survivors just get vomited on. And then once they know that they're broken, here, the looping commences. <laughs> if I can loop you for three gens, you know, you're going to do that with the next survivor? Well, that, that also depends until she gets into her red shit, too. Because if she shits- that's, that's that's if you're healing, though. Right? So if I'm 1v1ing one survivor and they're the only person that's sick, you're not getting any red stuff because no one else is healing. Everybody else is doing gent. Oh, is that how she gets it? Yeah. So uh, when you heal, the fountain turns into a red one. Ah, uh, and then she, okay. So a lot of the time, survivors, even when they're sick, they'll just do gent. <laughs> did not know that. Yep, they'll just keep doing gents. I've, I've played Plague a lot of times where I'll Get everyone sick. And I feel like I'm winning chases. And I'm like, why isn't anyone using fountains? They don't want me to get the red stuff. So they'll just keep healing. I mean, they just won't heal. They'll just keep doing gens. And they'll loot me. And they'll loot me as long as they can. And at the end of the day, they'll just always get gens. As long as you're gen rushing. That's the moral of the story. Yeah. So she has a lot of counterplay. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think Billy's better than the plague. Yeah, which you just described. Uh, made yeah, it seem not all that great. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. I really, I t- yo, yep. yo, y'all should play killer more. <laughs> yo, she can. St- well, I, I didn't have her as I don't have her as a killer. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Also, I already know. I thought she just got it like how um like it's like after a while. No, no, no. She has to go up to a red fountain and literally pick it up. It's a an whole animation that she does to pick yeah. it up. And then when and then you get the sound cue, and then there's no when there's no fountains for you to hear. That means that they're all red, pretty much. You can just go any any freaking fountain. Yeah. So a lot of the times, I the one thing I fucking loathe is when survivors get vomited on, they heal, and then and they touch a gen that's green, and then they'll heal again. And I'm like, you just gave her two red fountains. <laughs> if you were gonna touch this gen, why didn't you just touch it when you were already sick? And we'll both get sick, and we'll heal. It's fine later. Like, it's fine. We'll just get this gen done. Let's just prioritize this shit. She's already in the 1v1 with somebody else. Yeah, I've been gen rushed a lot. Like, that's why she has corrupt. She's the killer with corrupt because she needs that shit. <laughs> I didn't know that you couldn't knock someone down by just continuously vomiting on them. No, you can't knock them down like that. Mm. You have to eventually commit to the one v one. Yeah, because you so, don't you don't get hurt when she's initially vomiting on you. Yeah, she's, that, that meter up. builds up. The meter mm-hmm. builds up just to get you sick. Yeah, until like she broken. hits you, and then she has to finally hit you in the end to drop to officially drop you. So a lot of the times, you know, like I said, the survivors they'll just be like, "Bet just just throw up on me, like." get me to broken they'll let you vomit on them all you want they'll save all the pallets they won't drop any pallets take all the vomit get as soon as they see that broken status go up it's like bitch here we go pallet flashlight pallet flashlight (laughs) loop 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 pallet flashlight (laughs) wow the strats yeah we'll take this into the next game though facts so i feel like we should drop her (laughs) yeah yeah put her behind the doctor 
<laughs> I'll put her behind Wraith because Wraith is a little bit better than Flay. Yeah, she's not good. She's not good that good at all. One hundred. I feel like I win a lot of games against Plague. I feel like if I lose Plague matches, it's because people are using a lot of Fountain, and she's getting a lot of fucking red uh, stuff, red value. Yeah. Even then, even then, when she has the red stuff, you can't hear shit. <laughs> so when she is in her red status, for some fucking reason, when you're playing as her. This noise plays in the virus like yeah, 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 yeah. really loud in your fucking ears and you can't hear like a survivor moaning or walking or crawling in the grass. You can't hear shit. <laughs> so you run Iron Will, it's a wrap. <laughs> like she ain't gonna find you. <laughs> That's what the news reverse walk for Iron Will too. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. I, I like that you guys have the survivor perspective and then I'll be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I play this killer, this shit is garbage. <laughs> this shit is not fun. It's not fun at all. Because I, I wanted to be a plague mate at one point. I thought, I thought vomiting people was not fun. But again, I was like in rank 15. I got to like rank 5 and I was like, this is not fun. This is not fun at all. <laughs> and then I picked up spirit. <laughs> so I became a spirit... Ghostface secondary with some fucking I don't know, who else do I play in here? Uh, you play Wraith in there, mm, Wraith. Yeah, I really like Wraith. I just I like scaring people as Wraith. <laughs> uh, Mr. Myers. I like how you put Nurse in Double S and just kept it moving. Oh, that's right. I did put Nurse in Double yeah, S. I, I don't think there's any explanation as to the, why Nurse is in Double S. <laughs> Short hop and hope. <laughs> nurse is, is the best killer in the game. Bro, That's them, it. I'm sure hops are the fucking worst. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, killer. I feel like if I'm playing a baby nurse, it's easier for me. Oh yeah, I mean average baby killer, average, average nurse. I'm fine. I can deal with the fucking pro nurses. My god, I can't. I can't. You can't do anything. My god, they're just teleporting everywhere. Pop, pop. Oh, you over there? Pop. Oh, you over there? Pop. Just fucking. I, Especially if you're on I a do. small map too. Yeah, yeah, it's over for you. She can just go through the floor. Oh, you down here, pop. Oh, you up there, pop. Midwitch Elementary, you're you're done. <laughs> yeah. All she has to do is stay in the goddamn courtyard. Oh, you over there, pop. <laughs> uh, I I give credit where credit is due. If you play Spirit at a high level, congratulations, because that shit's hard. You mean nurse? You mean nurse, yeah. Nurse, sorry, yeah, nurse. If you even spirit, spirit's hard to play. Like you, you have to have uh, great awareness to play spirit because you can't see shit when you phase the spirit. You know, you lose your vision. Mm -hmm. Even auras, you don't see auras. All you see is scratch marks and you hear noises. I so know you have to have good. Well, awareness. she does have an add on that. I know that it it takes away the scratch marks and it follows the blood pool. Yeah, so that's her iridescent add on. Um, so you really get that in the blood web as is. <laughs> uh, but I usually just, just like to run the ones that make her haunting last longer so that it gives me more time to think and process where this person might be but with nurse man like it, even playing on a console nurse it's fucking hard it's really hard she's definitely the hardest killer in the game to, to even master you know it's a wrap once you're walking and there he is I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're not having fun <laughs> But yeah, she's definitely the best killer in the game. I don't even think, like, I think you can make her slower in her blinks, like Starwin mentioned once. But I, I don't even know if that's gonna be enough to, to, to nerf her even to be less than the best killer in the game. Flashlights don't work on me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works on her. That's the problem. You can't. Yeah, pallets do don't anything. work. Windows don't work. Dropping doesn't work. Yeah, flashlights don't that's, work. That's why every time I face a nurse, I just go back and forth. And once I see her like teleporting, I'll like, oop, go to the right. I just keep running but up and down the street in, in Haddonfield. Fucking, you can't even flashlight nurse because she's not breaking any pallets to let you. Mm -hmm. like nope. <laughs> so, yeah. Best killer in the game. She runs the loops faster than you, which is crazy. <laughs> she knows you're gonna be where you're going to be in the loop. Before you do. <laughs> Myers is like a B. Mikael Ooh, Mears? Spooky Myers. 
He's fun think, to play against, but I feel like he it takes way too long for him to actually do anything. Oh my god. I'm gonna put him low B. Every every Myers game I get, I just catch him randomly, just oh boom, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Especially that yeah. one game that we played, he just came up the stairs. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Myers is definitely late game. He definitely takes a very, very long time. Uh you have to get really lucky. Like I, you gotta get dumb survivors that that feed you, really mm. quickly. Um, Yamaoka Estate with the shrine in the middle, such a good map for Myers. I've literally stood on top of that shrine, and, and just... watched all four survivors and got in tier three in less than maybe a minute and a half. <laughs> and if you, like you said, you get stupid survivors where you can hit down someone and they're just the other survivors waiting to flashlight you and you know, and you just oop, two downs. That's two hooks. You got barbecue and chili. You know where the other two are. You know if they're close. You know if they're far on a gen. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of chance that comes in with Myers and I think that in a game like this, chance isn't enough. Especially when you have guaranteed downs like like a doctor, like a Bubba. Like a Freddy and a, and a hag nurse, and spirit, et cetera, et cetera. Any thoughts on Myers? Pretty much the same thing. And I feel like the exact same thing applies to Ghostface. He's just yes. Myers who can crouch. I think Ghostface is a little bit better than Myers, which would put Myers, I feel like, here if you believe it, five only. Again, another, another g- killer to, pl- to have fun <laughs> playing against and play as. I feel like every time I'm, uh, we're facing the ghost face, I just randomly find him. <laughs> and, and it's just like the most weird, it's the most funniest thing ever. I'll be on a Jenny. He's behind the door like, hey, <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got some sugar? <laughs> ghost face, I feel like is just better in the chase than Myers is. Uh, and then I also feel like ghost face, in the, in the sense of like he's faster than Myers. His swing is faster, isn't it? Yeah, his swing is better than Myers. Um, And then thirdly, exposing survivors is much more efficient and easier. As opposed to, like, you can stalk two survivors, uh, 99 their exposure, and maybe even just leave them alone, right? So a lot of the times, I've exposed a survivor for 99, go in to scare them, hit one person, down that person, hit them twice, down them, boom. See, find that person that I got to 99, expose them, and then down them. Like, it, it, you can play a lot more strategically with Ghostface. But again, he suffers because it takes so long to do that stuff. Like, you have to plan so far ahead. Yeah. Which, if you, uh, so basically, he's slower if you're just stalking him. If you're just stalking survivors. If you stalk with the, the, the creep around the corner, it goes much faster. So. Whenever you see a ghost face just standing there stalking you, like you, you, you know you have a little bit more time. Um, but if you see them stalking you from around the corner, like a tree or something, like immediately dip. Because he's probably already halfway there. <laughs> Not to mention he has one of the best mores in this game. He does. But he has the best more. He does have the best more. Um, and the crouch. The crouch is really good. I, I, I usually get to loops, and then I'll, I'll go into my stealth mode, and I'll crouch. And I, that immediately erases your red aura, and they don't know if you come from the left or right. You can scare them, force them to drop the pallet early, and then get the jump on them. Uh, a lot of mind games with those ways. Much, much more than, than Myers. His killer size is also uh, advantageous to him because he looks like a survivor a lot of the time when he's uh, uh, yeah. crouching. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. The demo, Gorgon. I put him in front of. Uh... Maybe maybe in front of Plague. In front of Plague? So we're dropping Ghostface. I see. Uh, what about you, Bugs? What do you think? The thing with Demogorgon is just, what's really annoying is his portals. If I can just go in and, you know, um, go in and out of those portals. Yeah. I think he's much better now after the buff. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's, he's uh, undetectable for longer. Uh, he fast, he's faster when traveling portal to portal. Um, I definitely think he's much better than Plague. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Wraith is only better because he can move around the map faster than Demogorgon. Demogorgon has to drop a portal, make sure that there's a portal over there. Um, 
do the animation to go in the portal, go through the portal, come out, and then find the survivor, whereas Wraith can just walk over there. <laughs> like, <laughs> Wraith literally can just phase and walk. Um, yeah, not much to really say about demo. And then we have Mr. Oni. Oni-chan! I think Oni's like a tier. He's only a tier if you know how to handle him in his like rage form. It's the only way you get any value out of him. Because that, that fucking dash, bro, it's so fucking scary. Oh my god. He also has a lot of information. Yeah, he can yeah. constantly follow you, no matter what yeah. perks you have. Those fucking blood orbs, man. Yeah, he already gets information regardless. Uh, if you're wait, if you're hurt and like waiting to go for the unhook, and he hooks someone, he can already know someone's there just off the blood orbs. And it sucks that like, so basically he can see them through walls, which mm-hmm. is crazy. It's like, no matter what, you can't even hide behind a wall and be like, he can't see these blood orbs. No, <laughs> he see that shit through the wall. He knows you're there. Yeah. So. He's another killer that basically has five perks at all time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do think he's a, he's a lot better than Billy. I think. Than Billy? Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just because of the information aspect? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have to agree. Oni's really, really good. Deathslinger? I want to say B tier. <laughs> he, I think he's behind Huntress. The sniper. Mr. Mr. Deathslinger. I don't think he's that good. <laughs> I don't think he's that good at all. I think he's cool. Think the he's concept cool. is cool. Yeah. But man, like, it's so easy to dodge his, his spear mm-hmm. if you're just zigzagging. Um, you have to have that god aim and that god, like, prediction to know where no. they're going to zigzag. The call and then to be able to rule them in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he's he's tough. He's he's very very tough. Especially if you shoot them over a pallet, it's like all right, like you got the shot over the pallet. They're not gonna go down. Mm-hmm. Go into their bleed, and that's really it. But he he definitely gets no information. He gets no type of value. He's a better legion, basically. <laughs> uh, Mister Mister Pyramids. He's S. What you think, Mister Pyramids is S? Yeah. What about you, Bugs? The only thing that with with uh Pyramid Head is his little fucking shit that comes from the ground, the little the trail of corruption. The, that trail of corruption. <laughs> that shit is annoying as hell. I would give him a. I have to. I think he's a. I don't think because that trail of corru- that trail of corruption fucks you up. Bro. I think that. What are you saying? Oh, no, what were you going to say? Go ahead. Yeah, go. Uh, I was just going to say that, like, I, I think that he's the only thing that's really good about him compared to, like, Freddy. Freddy has much more things going on than, than Pyramid Head. The only thing that Pyramid really has is that lunge of corruption, where a sense of, like, you can go to a pallet, he'll just drop his thing, and now you're like, okay. <laughs> now it becomes a mind game, because he can literally just hold it and wait for you to make a move. You drop the pallet, you get hit. You run away, he'll just let it go and hit you anyways. You know, so it, it, it's, it's hard for that, but he, he's much more mind gameable than, than the other four in front of him, I believe. His range also helps him a lot. See, that, that's what I'm thinking because when he puts down the, the trail of corruption, he's typically forcing you into the path that he wants and then he uses the lunge of corruption to knock your ass down and it goes through walls it goes through pallets it goes through objects and it hits from so far so a lot of the times even if you're like uh in haddonfield and you like start running into a house or something boom he got you from the opposite side oh you went through you jumped through you a saw me do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying like there's so much that he can do and it's typically from so far his hitbox is fucking massive that swing half the time he's not even looking at you when you get hit what, he hits you from <laughs> yeah it, it's fucking ridiculous and yeah. he's super fast he his walking speed is is way too high way too high that one game where we took we took each other out bro <laughs> 
<laughs> I flashed him, turned I'll, around, I'm dipping, gets hit with the lunge. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll give him an S. I'll give him an S. I'll give it to you. You convinced me. <laughs> Mr. Blight. Why'd you yeah. skip the twins? Because I'm going in the order of release. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Twins came out after Blight. So you think Blight, think Blight is better than Spirit? 100% Blight is better than Spirit. Blight is so good. Like, oh my god. He can literally get across the map so fast. So much faster than the Spirit. And he can hit while he's, he's moving. It's not like Spirit where she has to stop phasing. She can't, like, phase, hit, and then phase again. Like and the hit. nurse like, does. Yeah, like, Blight can hit wall, hit. Recharge, hit wall again, hit. Like, he could just shut down shit so fast. Like, he, he can even break pallets really quickly, like um, Billy and, and Bubba. Um, Tinker on Blight is nasty. <laughs> that shit is nasty. That is not, like, oh my god. The only- Barbecue ruin undying Tinker, it's not fun. The only time you know he's coming is when he hits the wall. You... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, even, bitch. even that. He has an add-on where when he hits a wall, he can see survivors' auras around him. I think in like a 12 uh, radius. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah. He, he can, he'll, so sometimes Blights will just hit the fucking wall and like look around. And be like, you over there. <sighs> <laughs> like, it's crazy because he can hit a survivor, tinkerer goes off, dip. Catch the survivor, uh, you know, tripping, down the survivor, hook, barbecue and chili, dip. Go, hit this one survivor, oh, tinkerer's going off again, doom, dip. Like, he's just consistently moving around the map, nonstop. All right, I, I can see that. And on a straightaway, you're asked out. Yeah. A lot of the times you can you can loop around like rocks and stuff because he's he's whatever, you know, he has to keep bumping. Midwitch is a gonna is a bitch. Oh my yeah. god. That, oh, fuck that map. He, he's bro. amazing on Midwitch. He's amazing on Midwitch. Um but yeah. I, even the biggest maps, this man is just like, oh, you tinker it over there? Ooh <laughs> fucking gone. <laughs> fucking gone. You don't even have to camp the hook. I've never seen a blight camp a hook. Never in my they life. They don't have to. They don't have to. <laughs> just they can get two hooks in a minute. <laughs> they'll just run back to the hook. If they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they'll just go to the person that they see on barbecue, hit that person, hear the unhook animation, and run back to the hook. <laughs> hit the person who did the unhook, down them, tinker are going off, boom, 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 run back. Hit that person, get them off the gens for ruin, value, go back to the person you down. Hook them, barbecue and chili, see where that person that you hit runs to. Go after them, down them, tinker going off again, hook that person. Now you got barbecue and tinker going off? Nah, man. That shit nah, is man. not fun. <laughs> that shit is not fun, bro. Like, he's fucking crazy. And he's just stacking that ruined valley. Consistently getting people off gens just because tinker. That 75 progress gen that you just got dropped down to like 25% immediately because of blight. Shit is wild. Wild, wild, wild. <laughs> the twins? I think she's like C tier. I think she's like here. I'm fine with that. I don't think she's engaging at all. Uh, Victor obviously is the reason why she's any decent, but mm-hmm. you have to get the cheap, cheap strategy. Like, like what we encountered. Like what you guys encountered, yeah, where she had y'all in the the basement. It's not camping. <laughs> I'm playing as Victor. That's true. She's not camping. She's she's running around the map as Victor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I just don't think she's fun at all. Whatever. Trickster, I would have said was D tier. Mr. G Mr. G Haku. <laughs> I immediately last week would have been like, this dude is D tier. He's not good. This character, this killer sucks. But I honestly think he's A tier now. So, this what exactly is, is the, the buff they gave him? 
So as opposed to eight knives uh, to f complete the circle, it's six. Um, his main event is faster, and you can cancel it at any time. You can use it at any time. Um, so I've seen Trickster games. I've watched a few Trickster games. Watched True Talent play Trickster. He doesn't think he's that good. Uh, he thinks Huntress is better. Some people were saying that Trickster has now trumped uh, Huntress. Basically, this man just be like, ching, 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 hit. <laughs> and you're down. So, he's, I think, a little bit faster when he's charging his knives now to throw at you. He also takes them out the locker faster. Uh, and he, he like holds, I said, how many does he hold at once? 40? You can make it 60. He holds 50 and, hold, and he can add a 60. To add, yeah. add the 60. So he could just literally, like I said, ching, 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 ching. He doesn't have any cooldown when he stops throwing knives. The survivor gets a little bit of a boost, but he's still on their ass. And he could just hit if he doesn't want to throw more knives. Hit them. See another survivor. Ching, 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 ching. He's yeah. a slugger. He's going to be the heavy slug killer. Like, this, this killer is going to slug the shit out of you. <laughs> to the set. Like, this is how you have to play him now. It's, it's consistent slugging. It's it's rather annoying. I've watched a few games and like it, it looks really annoying. I don't think we're gonna be having fun. Count so. Because, <laughs> because I don't, uh, I don't, I don't care. Go ahead. That's that's the one killer I don't mind dying. <laughs> <laughs> like he's, you recover from lacerations faster, but it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> he has an add-on. That can make it, I think, four knives to, to hurt you. So it doesn't even fucking matter, dude. I, it doesn't I think even he matter. has a... He, the add-on is um that if he hits you one after the other, like if he precise hits... It, it becomes faster. Yeah. yeah, it goes faster. So instead of six, it'd probably be like three. It's like three, yeah. Shit is not fun. <laughs> but he has to get the hit. So if you yeah. Know. Which is not that hard. It's not that fucking hard. Like, if you're good at aiming, you'll be fine. If you can play Huntress, you can play Trickster. No problem. Um, so people are complaining that he's, he's just easy Huntress. He's just getting down after down after down after down without any, like, penalty. Because um, with, with only being able to hit th six knives to get one down with that add-on, you're not even really losing knives. You don't really have to reload as much as Huntress does. And if he's running Corrupt Ruin, are you really doing much? So we'll see what happens. I don't think it's going to go through. I think he'll get nerfed. I think they'll take the fan feedback and try to rework him again. <clears throat> but yeah, he's, he's definitely A tier now. Love you. <laughs> This killer sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this killer fucking sucks, bro. Actually, he's better than Twin. I think he's a little bit better than Legion. But he sucks. This killer fucking sucks, dude. This, this killer is dog water. I think he's high C only because of the zombies. The zombies I'll, do I'll so much that. work for him. I'll give you that. The zombies can stop you from doing gens. They can stop you from fucking doing hexes. They can knock you down. They can infect you, which benefits him. He can also kill them to get level three. He, he, can, can, lead you, he can lead you into one of them. Yeah, they can shut down loops. They fucking chase you. They make you use your flashlights. So the on zombies them. are the real killer. Yeah, yeah <laughs> the zombies are fucking. The, they're the, too much, bro. The real the real picture should be Nemesis and the zombies. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I had that that one game where I was stuck in the freaking freezer room in the saw map. Him and the two zombies in the same room, bro. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> this is just watching me like, yeah, you're going to die tonight. <laughs> I feel like he suffers from what Trickster suffered from, which is, again, everyone says it. Why would you play Nemesis when you just play Plague? But I feel like he takes too long to build up. Like, like people are always like, I'm going to just M1 everyone. But then at that point, I'm going to just play Trapper. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, why even play them if you're not going to use the whip? The whole point is the whip. Um, his add-ons are garbage. He has like two good add-ons: one that makes the zombies faster, and then one that makes that builds his uh, his meter with uh, the hits. Does he have an add-on faster. that when he kills the zombies, uh, he's undetectable? That one's pretty good. It's all right. It's all right. But how many people are you seeing using it now? You know what I mean. He also has yeah. an add-on for that makes the zombies appear out of the gates too. Yeah, that was not that good either because the zombies have to be dead. So, if you're, I mean, if 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 you see that people pop the last gen, you could go and kill the last two zombies, but you got to find them anyways. That's a lot of time you're wasting to go kill these two zombies to get them to spawn at the Ooh. the gates. You know, uh, lethal pursuer isn't as good as people thought it was. No, uh, lethal pursuer helps myers more than it helps nemesis i can tell you that much um lethal pursuer is much much better on myers and ghostface uh and as for like in the in the 1v1 nemesis is not good unless you're like level three level three you can shut down loops a little bit better level two you can shut down loops but level three you can shut down loops and hit them (laughs) at the same time from a long fucking range but yeah like every nemesis we play Either tunnels or face cam. The new Bubba. Because they can't do anything else. <laughs> but yeah, they just like, play Nemesis to be Nemesis. That's it. That's why I play Nemesis. I'm like, this is fucking awesome. I'm playing Nemesis. I'm, I'm the literal Nemesis. I'm... This is <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as I'm putting my fan bias aside. This, this killer sucks. it's not fun it's stressful like i and i try to play as fairly as i can and it's fucking stressful i usually just end up playing spirit after that's how you know i'm angry is when i play spirit (laughs) (laughs) so yeah nemesis suck if you could get the ball going with some like like stupid survivors like super survivors who aren't trying to like like gg you in the first two minutes um it'll be it can be fun it can be a little fun but that's not the case when you're ranked two so <laughs> yeah it seems like this is our tier list this is what we think anybody want to make any last minute changes i mean i think I, uh, uh gunslinger is better than ghostface or myers you don't think he's better no okay I can agree with. You. What about you, Bugs? <laughs> I can say it, but it's not, it's not gonna make a difference. What? Put my man G Woon in the SS. I love you, G <laughs> <laughs> Woon. We'll find out if he's in the SS in like a week or two. True. <laughs> I'm gonna. You're gonna be so sad if you get annoyed. <laughs> I'm something <laughs> Oh man. And especially with his new perk rework where it doesn't lock the gates until you touch the gate. That's so cheap. It's 40 <laughs> seconds. It's 40 seconds if he hooks everyone. And you can just start throwing knives from wild deep. Yep. He'll probably just let you touch the gates so that you can lock them shit. <laughs> Imagine locking the gates and then blood ward. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no one with locking the gates with blood warden. That's all minute and 30 just to fuck around and hit you with knives. <laughs> Am I about to start playing that? I think I, I might. You gonna, you gonna play Trickster? Like that, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking uh, Infinite Tier 3 Myers with that, with the Trickster perk and Noed. Oh my god. No, Noed wouldn't make sense because you're already Infinite yeah. Tier 3, so you could just run the fucking gate one and then you can run Blood Warden. Disgusting. <laughs> and just stay at the gate like yeah. You thought you could You're not opening this. <laughs> you and if you do open this, you're not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be the ultimate fuck. Like I'm like, yes, I'm about to get out. Blood warden. Like, no, you turn around, you just <laughs> like I don't think so. <laughs> this ain't happening, boo <laughs> boo. <laughs> the game about to get crazy in the next week and week and a half or so. Yeah. Oh my god. We're getting the face reworks. All the survivors are going to look prettier. 
<laughs> They're gonna look pretty. But yeah, it's about an hour video. We busted out this DVD tier list. Here you go. This is our casual take on the killers. It doesn't look that different from regular tier list. I can tell you that. I think the only difference is like pyramid head clown. Um, fuck clown, bro. Fuck that and like clown. Doctor. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look that different. Piece of shit. Poor twins, piggy and, and trapper, man. You can probably throw Legion down there too. <laughs> so, so they don't be so lonely. <laughs> yeah, that's that's four, five, six. That's seven people down here. There you go. <laughs> You're right. Uh, cool. All right, guys. That that's our tier list. Um, check us out. And let's go around the next episode. Check us out on some of our news videos. We're gonna put up putting a lot of videos in the next like day. So we'll catch you guys on the flip. Peace, peace. E. I'm sending that.